You mm. get the ball, you're bouncing it to the outside, and all of a sudden off the edge, you see former teammate Aiden Hutchinson coming off. Who's going to win that matchup? Me for sure. Man. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Time to tune in. Now the another sports center. It's a movement. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Touchdown with Doug Smith. I'm here with my other co-host here, uh, Mr. Adrian, a.k.a. Soup Campbell. How you doing here today, sir? Man, I'm excited. I'm excited. You know, we got uh, we got one of my favorite players from this season today, so I'm I'm hyped. Man, but let's, that being said, let's get right into it. Folks, listen, if, if Godzilla uh, reincarnated as a football player, I mean, this guy is one of the most electric. I mean, you literally probably thought he got struck by electricity. He's so electric on the field. Folks, ladies and gentlemen, cool cats and kittens, I got Mr. Hassan Haskins down below on the show with us here today. Hassan, how you doing today? Man, I'm good. I'm good. You know, it's, it's an honor to be on here, you know, so let's get it. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Hey, I'm very happy to have you on the show. I know you're a very busy man. We got the draft the end of next month. This is a very exciting time, not only for us to have you on the show, but also for yourself. Um, but before we get into all the fun football stuff, I'd love to know how, and my first question of the day, how did you initially fall in love with the game of football? Uh, man, I started when I was like fifth grade, you know, um, I was playing catch with my cousin and in front of, and I'm like on the street in front of our in front of our crib, and uh, it was uh, our neighbors actually. They, they uncle, he came by to visit, and I, I guess he seen us playing catch, and he gave us a, he talked to us, gave us a, gave us a flyer, and told told us to um, come down and uh, come try out, you know, and uh, it all started from there, you know. That's what's up. And was that was that uh, in St. Louis? Yeah, St. Louis. You know, from the south side of St. Louis, and uh. Yeah, just just playing catch one day. And, uh, it just the rest was history. Uh, it. Don't man. Well, look, I I know in college, right? We had that last year of twenty twenty. I know that was rough for you know everybody that was in there. Uh, especially, I think that would that would have been your your second season uh, really taking that load. But you know, just kind of from like twenty nineteen to twenty twenty one in terms of your production, like what do you think? What was the mentality going into this season, coming off of that lost COVID year? Oh uh, man, I'm a, you know I'm a competitor. You know anything I do, and uh, one thing I hate is is losing. You know, and uh, this that 2020 season was was not a good look. You know, lot, lots of losing, and uh, I just can't take that. You know, so we just had to come come among ourselves as players and talk with each other and see like what we can do different. And we just all, all had to step up, you know, and uh, take over. And I feel like we did a, we did a pretty good job 2021 season. And, uh, you know, so, yeah, we just had to step up, you know, get that, that better mindset that we, we – this is Michigan, you know. We, we here to dominate, you know, any competition. So just that mindset. Well, safe to say, I think you uh, successfully did that, man. And, you know, for the people that, that are watching, for the people that's listening, when we talk about stepping up, uh, I want you to know Asai Haskins went for 270 attempts, 1,327 yards all the way through the playoffs, 20 touchdowns, averaging 4.9 yards per carry. But the most impressive stat line out of all those touches, out of all of those attempts, not a single fumble. Your man does not put the ball on the ground. He only puts it in the end zone. Yeah, man, I I work hard for that, you know. Not, not try to uh drop that rock, you know. That's the that's the money right there. So absolutely, and a long walk to the sidelines. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I may be speaking from experience. I'm not saying I am or not. Okay, I am. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me ask you. You know, obviously, you've had a, a really great career at Michigan. I mean, you've you've done. I mean, one of one of the best ever uh, running backs in Michigan to ever take and bless the rock over there. Let me ask you, uh, what kind of life lessons did you learn while playing football and also attending the University of Michigan? I'm a competitor. You know, I found that out early in my years, you know, with, with any any little thing. You know, I want to um, turn my homework in fast or anything like that. You know, just just having a little competition with my friends and, and, and family, you know, and uh yeah, just toughness, you know, just it's a lot of different things. Hassan, as a as a Michigan Wolverine fan myself, uh 
I I can't speak how it feels as a player, just only as somebody that's watching it from the sidelines, as you know, yelling at Coach Harbaugh and everybody when things is going wrong through the TV. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we had a ten year drought of losing to Ohio State, and it felt like Christmas. It felt like the birth of my son, like getting married again all over. Uh, when you guys toppled Ohio State this year, I know I was on cloud nine, but talk to me about that dominant performance. I think 169 yards, five touchdowns. You uh, surpassed uh, Michael Hart in that game for uh, most rushing touchdowns in uh, Michigan history, man. Talk to me about it. How did that feel? Man, that's, that's one day I can't remember. You know, that, <laughs> that right there, it was <laughs> – it was amazing. I'm not gonna lie, you know. Um, but yeah, I put so many, I put so many hours and 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 days and just everything into that to that one game. You know, I was I was definitely focused that whole week of practice or anything. You know, uh, focused on that one game. You know, I just man, I just I just had to go crazy in that game. I had I had to make a difference, and um, I felt like I did. You know, I had to change change that losing streak, and just man, I just had to change put that that mindset into the second gear. You know, so man, that game was that game it was, was. I'm telling you, brother, it was it was crazy. And like I said, it's it's ten years. The the last time that we had had a victory over Ohio State uh, was the year I graduated college. Uh, Denard Robinson was the quarterback for that. So I had no kids. I had no wife. So like I said, you guys. You gave me life because the, I, it's different as a player. I know it is than it is being a fan. But I always felt as a Michigan fan, if we're not beating Ohio State, I I really don't care what the record is. Like that's what I'm circling on the calendar every single year. Man, yeah, I feel you on that. I definitely feel you on that. Yeah. You, you definitely did your thing, man. I mean, and, and we all know Ohio they crank out NFL players, man. So for you to have a game like that against that amount of talent, man, mm -hmm. it's just that's amazing, man. So man, uh, we'll see y'all. Oh, yeah. Uh, now, let me ask you, a couple of days ago, uh, you were at the Combine. I saw you uh, getting lit on the bench. Uh, uh, hey, let me ask you, what was that experience like being at the Combine? I, that was fun. You know, just seeing all the different players around the country, just meeting, meeting a lot of different different players, a lot of different teams, things like that. But it was it was, it was, it was some long days, I'm not going to lie, a lot of medical stuff. But um, – it was it was a fun experience, you know, once in a lifetime change, you know. So I definitely can't complain on that, you know. So it was definitely a fun experience. Yeah, man. Awesome. Yeah. So you're so you're so close, you know, to reaching that to reaching that dream, right? To getting mm -hmm. into the NFL. Along the way, is there anybody specifically that you could think of, any mentors or people that you look up to or anybody that, you know, helped you get to this point where you are today? Uh man. This my just my family, you know, parents, two two brothers, three sisters, and uh, man, they just always stuck stuck behind me my whole entire life, you know. I'm I'm the baby of the family, you know, so they're <laughs> looking after me, you know. So uh, I just I just I just thank them, you know. Uh, they definitely blessed me with they with their presence, you know, and just standing behind me on whatever decision I did or do. You know, so j just my, my family, you know, so. That's a solid answer, brother. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, absolutely. Uh, now, let me ask you, this year's draft, uh, along with yourself, is, is a big group of really good running backs coming into the draft this year for the 2022 uh, NFL draft. Let me ask you, what sets you apart from other running backs in this year's draft? I compete, you know. Um, I just, I like to win. <laughs> You know, um, it just it's just me myself. I just I just see see things different. You know, um, just, like I said, any little aspect I do in my life, you know, I want to compete. I want to get better every day. I want to learn. You know, um, so I just I just had that, that that mentality of just dominating whatever I do, compete whatever I do, and just just, just that different mindset. You know, and that and that that will to win. You know, that I got that fire to you know. To go out there and dominate and win, you know, I feel like I just, I just got the dog in me for real, for real. And uh, man, it's pretty much it for real, you know. Okay. But it's a lot of things, though, you know, that separates. All right. Well, mm -hmm. you, you know, you, 
you talk about that hunger that you have and, and, you know, being a dog and stuff like that. There's been a lot of dogs that played a running back position in the NFL, man. Who's a guy or some guys that you, that you look to kind of pattern your game after? Uh, man, definitely. Um, Adrian Peterson, you know, watch his highlights all the time when I was younger. You know, he was just, he was just, a, 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 he just dominated on the field. You know, he'd run somebody over, he'd shake somebody, you know, he had it all in his tool bag. And I feel like, I got that same, same, you know, same tool bag plus more, you know. So he's definitely one of the guys that I, I looked up to and, and watched highlights, trying to mimic my game a little bit, you know. So, yeah. So I, oh, man, if you giving us AP vibes, man, I, <laughs> I I got a certain NFL jersey I need you to be in here in a few months. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> That's dope, man. Now, I, I mean – but Adrian Peterson, man, he's – and it's good to see him still playing the game after so long and still be electric at he is at the age that he is, you know. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that, leads to me, that leads me to my next question. You know, yeah, some running backs are situational. Some are three down. Uh, some are maybe not so nice with the hands. Uh, some could catch. Some could really do it all. Um, mm -hmm. What would you say, you know, maybe your, your top three best skill set is as a running back? I can do it all. But my, my top three, man um, – I mean, I'm definitely, I can definitely run, run through some people's faces, you know. I said, I said, that's one of them. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. You know, uh, I got, I got, a, you know, I got a couple, couple moves in my tool bag. You know, I can, I can make some people miss. You know, with uh, well, Hassan, let me help you out with one of them, man. And this is something that I think a lot of, you know, NFL teams are going to be looking at. One of your top things that we talked about earlier is ball security. You uh, can't. You touch the. You touch the ball two hundred and seventy times. You put it in the end zone twenty times, over thirteen hundred yards, and you're not putting it on the ground, man. Like that's true. that is. That's probably one of the most important traits. We talk about running through somebody's face. I just saw uh, Kyle Brett on the Good Morning Football segment. He had you on the twenty twenty two draft prospects uh, angry run segment. So we know uh, you love running through somebody, <laughs> man. That's true. Yeah, that's definitely one. You know that ball security. You know I can't. I can't I can't let that, that rock go. You know, we got a saying in our running back room, um ball security equals job security, you know. So you gotta protect that rock. And uh, you know, I I definitely focus on protecting that rock. You know, obviously you're a complete back. I've watched you you pretty much your entire career through the through the college space. Uh I'm enamored with you. But if you had to, you know, focus on something this offseason, just getting getting ready to make that leap from the college game to the NFL game, is there something specifically that you like to focus on a part of your game that you're really, you know, I want to hone in on this and this is the thing I want to tighten up before I get into the league? It's just my, my footwork and protection, you know. So I feel that's the main, main, main things. That's dope, man. That's dope. I know that's a tough question because like we see yeah. this on tape and you're, you're literally like the perfect running back, like everything. You got it all, man. So uh, thank you for answering that, though. Let me take and ask you, Um, you know, oftentimes, you know, we see in the locker room, there's music playing, especially after big victories like mm -hmm. Ohio State against them. <laughs> uh, but let me ask you, what is in your headphones on game day? Man, I mean, I'll I be, I be listening to a lot, a lot of Rod Wave, you know. <laughs> Okay. I'm like mellow, you know, but uh, I'll listen to that. Matter of fact, going actually going to the game, it, it depends. It's either Rod Wave or Chief Key, you know, <laughs> Rod Wave, you know, but yeah, but I've been listening to Rod Wave for a while now. It's just, it's just my, you know, my thinking, my thinking music, you know, I think a lot and just yeah. you know, relax as well, but yeah, Rod Wave is go to. That's what's up. It don't always have to be, you know, a lot of hype stuff. Sometimes it's just whatever puts you in your zone. And if Rod does it for you, man, I, mm -hmm. I keep them in your headphones through the NFL. Oh, yeah. uh, what's the plans for draft day, man? Are you are you kicking it at home with the family? You guys going out somewhere? What's going on? Hey, I'm playing. I'm playing on uh, going back to St. Louis. You know, with uh, all my family, friends. You know, uh, probably get a, get get a little spot and uh, just do it like that. You know, so just back at back at home, where I came from, you know, where my support came from. So it's gonna be a great day to celebrate, man. I I don't think you're gonna be waiting for long at all. I hope, yeah. I mean, hopefully not. You know, prayers up. 
Oh, yeah. I was just in St. Louis uh, last summer, actually. We had a, a conference or a job I was working at at the time. And I know y'all got that, uh, was it that Sky Bar where it's like see through glass is right outside the stadium, man? So there's an abundance oh. of views. Oh, yeah. You come to, uh, wait, you come to the Orch or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's where it's at. Yeah. It was Orch. Um, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that place is lit, man. I, I went there. I was like, man. I don't want to leave. <laughs> it's a po postcard, 360 postcard, you know. Uh huh. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let me ask you, you know, obviously drafts, you know, uh, let's see, probably like a month and a half away approximately. Um, once that happens, you get selected by the team. Uh, what are some of your goals at the next level of football, being the NFL? Next level? Man, just, just uh, doing anything I can get on that, doing anything – to get on that field, you know, uh, and try to become become that number one back, you know. Like I said, I compete, you know, whatever I do. So, so it's a lot of goals, you feel me, that I that I want to accomplish on that next level. You know, be the best back I, I ever been, and just just di different things like that. You know, it's a lot of them. You know, so just just first, just becoming that that back, get on that field, you know, test the field, see how it is, you know, and uh. Yeah, that's the, that's the goal right now. Well look, well, look, man, I think I only got uh, one more question for you because the one that we, we kind of asked it the same thing before. So I, I want to ask the fun question for you is there's a lot of monsters on that defensive side of the ball at the next level. You got your Miles Garrett's, Nick Bosa, uh, my personal favorite, Aaron Donald. Um, mm. But there's going to be a new monster coming into the league, man. So let me ask you just this hypothetical scenario, right? You get the ball, you're bouncing it to the outside, and all of a sudden off the edge, you see former teammate Aiden Hutchinson coming off. Who's going to win that matchup? Me for sure. Man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Oh, hey, he got to see me. You know, he got he to gotta make it happen. But, you know, I got to – I feel like I got some form, you know, so – Definitely me. <laughs> Man, let Aiden know. That's what I'm talking about. I can't wait to see that play out on Angry Runs for sure. <laughs> Man, that's going to be a sight to see. I mean, I, I was watching a highlight a few years ago. It was a Bo Jackson. It's the early 90s, and he was going against Bosworth, who used to mm. play for Seattle Seahawks. Mm -hmm. Crazy dude. He looked like he just came from a junkyard and ate metal for dinner. I mean, he's just a rough-looking dude. He had a, you know, he, he, he had the mohawk and everything. Uh, and, uh, yeah, the running back won that one, so. <laughs> Oh man, that's dope, man. That's dope. I, I got one more question for the night. Um, obviously, you, uh, we have you in the interview here today. We're gonna know what a wonderful person you are, man. Super happy to have you on. Uh, but let me ask you for any NFL teams watching this, um, and when they watch this, what's something you want NFL teams to know about you that they may not know already? Man, uh to be honest, I mean, I'm just I'm just a dude. I mean, I don't, I don't speak as much, you know, I'm not as vocal, but when I get on that field, you know, they're going to see a different, different me, you know, they don't see somebody that's, 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 that's want to win, you know, got the, got the will to win and just, I'm just me, you know, kid from St. Louis just trying to prove myself to everybody, you know, and uh, show the world that I can, you know, play on the next level and, uh, and dominate, you know, so pretty pretty much it you know so love it i love it i love it man well hassan man thank you so much so so much I, i'll be honest with you, I, I do a lot of interviews a lot of draft prospects actually i had one of your teammates on recently but man mm. you, you are probably my favorite uh college running back and college player in general so to have you on the show here today is an absolute blessing and privilege thank you Jonathan. you know down here you know appreciate you Hey man, we we appreciate you coming on, taking the time. Like I said, in my eyes, you're already goaded. I know you didn't cemented your legacy over there in Michigan. I can't wait to see you know where you're going to cement your legacy in this NFL and see how far that thing goes. I know I'll be monitoring your career, whether you're playing for my squad or somebody else. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish nothing but the best of luck, man. Blessings on blessings Thanks. for you. Appreciate that. You know, definitely honor. Absolutely. Before we go, any shout outs you may have. My whole family, <laughs> all my boys at Michigan, you know. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Well, folks, there you have it. Uh, I'm going to have all social media stuff down below. I'm also going to have the highlights down below in the description. Y'all make sure y'all go ahead and click on that and uh, get your popcorn ready because it's a show every time this man blesses the ball, man. So, Hassan, thank you so much again. Y'all make sure y'all hit subscribe. Catch y'all next time on the Touchdown with Doug.
return 100 for the touchdown King crown gain inside Bleeding your town Hit you faster than the sound Bad boy throw it down hey. Yeah I'm ill Not my will Don't cop a fill Fill the house Listen to the war crowd Drop a like Calm it down Heisman all the haters mouth Superhero hit them wow Packing more action Than bing boom bam pow Touchdown for the win We live subscribe right now hey.